Hi guys, I'm Juliana. Welcome back to my channel. And so, in today's video, I'm going to share my 12 books for 12 months for 2022. Um, I chose a book to each month and I'm going to read each book in each month. And then I'm going to do a video at the end of each month about the book that I chose. So beginning with January, I chose The Book of the Quiet by Fernando Pessoa. Fernando Pessoa was born in the end of the 19th century and died in the 20th century. So he was a poet known by, of course, his poetry. But this book is different. This book is in prose. He didn't do a lot of works in prose. So this one was discovered in his belongings. He had uh, a lot of papers that said Book of Disquiet that have the, initial, the initials of the title and they were being discovered along the time and the, then they were gathered and that's how it, it was born the Book of Disquiet. Uh, I read some poetry of Fernando Pessoa not much. I intend to read more about Fernando Pessoa and more of his poetry and of his other works uh, this year. I can't promise any anything, but I'm going to try. And I, I want to begin the year right, so there, we there it is, the Book of Disquiet. This, this, this will be the video of next week. Then in February, I'm going to read uh, two books. One is a reread, that th is this one, that is The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. I already talked about this book in my 10 favorites uh, of 2021, so I'm, go I'm not going to elongate a lot about this one. And then I'm going to read Mary Riley by Valerie Martin. This uh, is a book that was made in a movie and, and I saw the movie. That's why I know the story already. But I want to read the book. I, I'm very curious uh, about the story. I liked it a, a lot, so that's why I want to read the story. Let me know, are you the same? Do you see movies and then want to read a book? Because I'm like that. I have a lot of books here that it's because I saw the movie that I want to read the book. Let me know. So this is February. Then in, in March, uh, I'm going to read Dangerous Liaisons by Pierre Charlotte Laclos. I don't have the book with me. The book is with my godmother. She is reading it. This one, again, is one that I saw the movie first and I really enjoyed the story, it's quite dramatic it has a lot of betrayals and gossip and it's quite dramatic uh, this book is a epistolary novel I'm not really sure yet if I'm a fan of epistolary novels because the, all the, the books that I read that were epistolary that was Dracula and Lady Susan I'm not sure if I like the format, so I'm going to read this one and see what I think. Then in April, I'm going to read Solaris by Stanislan, Stanislaw Lem. This is a science fiction book. As of what I know, this is a book about, I think, a scientist that goes to another planet in a project and there something happens and, and something dramatic happens and then the story progresses after that. I don't know much about the story, that's how I like it. And I just know this is a science fiction uh, story and that this uh, was made in two movies. One is a Russian movie and then I think it is an American one. So I intend to read the book and then see the movies. 
Then in May, I'm going to read The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This will be my first time reading Dostoevsky. I have with me Crime and Punishment and the Brothers Karamazov. About the Brothers Karamazov, I'm going to accompany a joint reading um, that will be that with, will be led by a booktuber that I really enjoy, Cristiana Assunção. For my, for my Portuguese viewers, I think if you want to accompany this reading, you can join me. He's a Brazilian booktuber and I really enjoy his work. I'm going to accompany that reading and I'm really excited and anxious for that. And so I don't have any idea of what idiot is about, so I'm blind <laughs> and we'll find out together. Then in June, I'm going to read Budenbrook by Thomas Mann. I know this book is about the family and is about the decline of a family. So we'll be talking about the elements of, of the family and how they, about their descent and how things turn out not so well for them. That's the only thing that I know about this novel. I really enjoy Thomas Mann. I al already read Dr. Faustus by him and I have others with me that I want to read too. So in June, Budenbrook. Then in July, what I talk about when I talk about running by Haruki Murakami. This is a memoirs book. The Murakami will be talking about his life, how he became a writer. And in this one, he talks a lot about running. So for, th for those who like running, all the reviews that I saw really advise this book. I think it's quite interesting in that way because he, mm, he runs a lot. And I think he began running when he was 30 years, years old. So that was not that young. And he runs marathons, not for the competition, but for the personal challenge. And I think that's, you know, very interesting and um, remarkable. So I'm quite curious to read this one. My father read this one already and he, he quite enjoyed it. So I'm excited. Then at August, we'll be talking about New York Trilogy by Paul Oster. I don't know anything about this book. I have no idea if it passes in New York. I suppose it does, but we'll, we will find out. And yeah, I don't know what else to say because I really have no idea what this book talks about. So it will be a total surprise for me. If you know, let me know just a little bit. I don't want to know much. I like to go to my books with the minimum. So then in September, we are going to read Nausea by Jean Paul Sartre. I also don't know anything about this one. I don't know if it's a more philosophic book. The Nausea, like the title, it's quite, it uh, appears to be a philosophic book, but I have no idea. I am quite curious to read something about and, f and from Jean-Paul Sartre. I heard a lot about this author, so that's why uh, I bought a book and, I'm want and I chose for my 12 books because I'm quite curious to see what this author talks about. Then in October, I'm going to read The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. I saw the movie <laughs> again uh, and I quite enjoyed it. I think the story is a bit dramatic. I can't say it's romantic because it's quite strange, isn't it? But I chose this one because this is a gothic book and I wanted some thematic 
for the Halloween month. So that's why I chose this one. Then in November, I'm going to read Salome by Oscar Wilde. I never read anything by Oscar Wilde. Uh, and I think this is a play. Yeah, this is a play. And I think I never read any play in my life. No, that's a lie. I read it. Yeah, now I remember. <laughs> So, but I don't read a lot of plays, that's not the type of thing that I used to read, so that's something that I also want to change, and I heard a lot of good things about Salome, so that's why I have it here. Then in December, I'm going to read The Great Gap Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is a classic, so that's why I chose it. I never read anything by the author. I also see the movie, saw the movie, the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, I I really don't remember well the the movie. I know the story in general aspects, uh, but I'm quite curious also to read the read the the book, and yeah, that's why it's here. So that's my choices for uh, 2022. Let me know if you are going to do this project also. If you have 12 books that you chose to read in, in this year. If yes, let me know in the comments. I would love to see your list. And let me know what you thought about my choices. And if you are going to join me um, in reading this bo these books. So. That's it. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. Leave a like. It helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Bye.